Lord have mercy. All right, here we go. What's up, guys? Jason up here at Car Kill Farm and the Car Kill Farm family. And today, today I'm gonna mess around on the Airstream. This is gonna be the first video of many of us, our journey of us restoring this Airstream. So we're gonna set it up as a as a camper, but eventually this could be a tiny house for us. You know, I'm actually, you know, just starting off. I'm kind of, I don't know what I need to do. You know, there's so much that needs to be done. So I don't know where to start kind of thing. And I think the main thing I need to do is, is to figure out, figure out, I got a little situation back here in the back. Um, guys, there's a rat nest back here that looks like a beaver dam. Jeez. Now, it's right back here. We've driven this thing for two hours. So, I'm assuming it's nothing in there, but it's a pretty big rat nest. Kind of scary rat nest. And if I don't get it out, every time I come in here, that's what I'm going to be thinking about. So, how am I going to get this thing out? I don't know. I really don't have a plan. Should I get a shovel? A long stick? Because I'm going to tell you, if this rat comes out and runs towards me, I'm going to tear this camper up. All right, let me show y'all this thing. Now, I'm going to ease up on it now, okay? We easing up on it. But y'all see that? That thing's got limbs in there. If, if this got, you know, limbs the size of my arm, I can only imagine how big this sucker is, okay? Probably the size of a Labrador. Um, I've actually brought my cat in here, and she walked right back out. So that's even got me even more worried. If the cat's nervous, you know, what am I supposed to be? Got to make sure I got a clear path to the door. Thinking one of these swank curtain rods would do the trick. We're fixing to hit the side of the counter and to see if this monster comes out. I won't know when he comes out because the, the whole camper is going to shake. I think that's a good sign. Except one, one thing is I, I slammed the door shut and the door shut. Only way that door is going to open is if I go over there and manually open the door. That seemed like a good move at first until now. I'm, I'm no uh, rat expert, but I'm thinking all that noise I made, you would think if there was anything in there, it ran out. That's logic. Maybe I should get peaches. I, I think I could lift her in here. And you would think you would hear some kind of little scurry, maybe him packing up his laptop, something. Can, can y'all see it? Look at this thing. That's a log cabin. I'm dealing with Paul Bunyan. And I'm sure Babe is not far behind. You know, spiders don't bother me. I can handle spiders. Snakes kind of give me, but you know, I'm 50-50 with snakes. But rats, red rats, rats scare me. If I have a phobia, it is definitely rats. Here's the plan. Take this thing right here. I'm gonna ease it in there and then we're gonna pull this thing out. Here we go. And this is the only one I've seen. There's a bed right here, so it could be another one in here, but right now we're focusing on Grizzly Adams. Somebody put a little mouse trap in here. I like that mouse trap gonna do something. Look at that little mouse trap. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I promise I'll beep out any any bad words I say. Oh Jesus. 
that's that's still woo. That's what I'm up against. A rat that made a rat nest out of logs and steel wool. I have to go have a beer, but I think we're good. One down. I don't know how many to go, but I see that one. It's 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 gone. Let me show you this. Y'all see that right there? Now that's a, that's still wool. He trying to get this wool in there. Got caught up. He said the heck with it. I'll go chop down some trees. That's my game plan right there. Drop and listen. Make a lot of noise. Listen. See if I hear anything hissing at me. I don't hear anything scurrying around. I would feel a lot better if I saw a possum walk out of here. I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. I wasn't scared of the rat anyway. So I'm feeling pretty confident about our rat situation. Um, right here, this right here was the bed. Definitely gonna keep this stuff. I may or may not use it, but just in case. Check it out. I'm walking. <laughs> While I'm walking, the door, <laughs> the doors are moving. <laughs> and then I stepped on a piece of paper, and <laughs> oh, my heart's going 100 miles an hour. <laughs> I'm still gun shy. Got the proper tire. Look at that. Yeah, it don't look good. I'm feeling a good bit better since I got Ben out of here. Ben is coming from Cinerama releasing, and this time he's not alone. Fixing to get this sink out that don't belong in here at all. Bad thing about taking the gloves off is getting them back on. Your hands are sweaty. Look at that. <laughs> like OJ. <laughs> I'm guessing there's a vent right here. This is a vent pipe. And this goes down to my gray water pipe. This might be all original here. Found this in the closet. An action model ACN 35045 black and white TV manual. Let's go tackle this bathroom. It's probably the roughest spot. The sad thing is this is all just one solid piece. And I'm gonna, it's gonna suck tearing it out. But I really don't think I have a choice. I mean, none of this stuff. Is that a dead rat? That could be a dead rat. I don't know what this pile of black is. No idea what that is. But it ain't nothing but dirt and work, baby. You know what I'm saying? We can handle it. I'm about to pull this carpet up. So I'm kind of happy about what I'm seeing. I was hoping there wasn't like any big rotten spots in the middle, and there's not. There's not. Nothing. The only spot we got is like right here by the door. And I know about the corners. One corner there and a the corner there. Got that 
electrical one done. It's getting late. I'm gonna call it a day. I'm pretty tired. But I got a ton of stuff done today. Y'all stay tuned for the next part of this. Could you get any closer? Any closer to me? Hey guys, thanks for watching the video today. Hey, if you missed our first camper restoration, check out that playlist right over here. If you're new to the channel, like what you see, hit the subscribe button down below. And if you're interested in any Cockhill Farm gear, check out the link right here. Y'all be good.